Hi, my name is Marie Nash and and I am Sandra Ross. Welcome to Kid Friendly Pizza Time. We are here from the Birmingham Public Library, North Avondale Branch, and today we're going to talk about a slice of history with pizza. Pizza. Did you know where pizza comes from? Italy. Italy is where pizza comes from. Do you know who invented pizza? Sandra, do you know who invented pizza? Um, I don't know. It's, hmm. Could that be Raphael Esposito? Yes, Raphael Esposito was the first creator of pizza. Not the crust, which is flatbread, but the ingredients on top combined with the crust, which makes pizza. Did you know that Raffaello made a special pizza for the queen? Her name was Queen, queen. Margarita. Yeah. Queen Margarita was one of his first customers for his pizza, and he made it especially for her. The pizza actually represented the Italian flag. The pizza had green, which is basil. It had the white for the mozzarella cheese, and it had the red for the tomato, which we now call the margarita pizza, which is still sold today. Sandra, what is your favorite pizza? Mmm, I think I like pepperoni. Pepperoni? Me? I like beef pizza, meat pizza, and veggie pizza. Sandra, did you know that they have all kinds of pizza that you can make? I knew about some, but not all. You can actually make dessert pizza. And there's a book next to you, Sandra. It's a garden pizza. Yum, yum, yum. If and that's healthy. A, yes, if you have a garden, there are things that you can get out of your garden that will make a fantastic pizza. Hey, Sandra, the first thing we need to do before we start making our pizza, we know us practice safety first. Yes. So we need to. Make sure our hands are clean, so let's use our sanitizer. Okay. Social distance, you first. Nice and clean. Okay, the next thing we want to do once we get our hands all clean, we're going to put on our gloves. So when you're at home, you can just wash your hands really, really good. Take the ABCs while you're washing your hands to make sure that they're very clean. And then we can start making our pizza. Sandra, I think I'm going to use the flatbread for this one. This is just a flatbread that you can buy. That's a good idea. That's a very, very good idea. But mm -hmm. I think I'm going to use the bagel. Oh, cool. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get our sauce. Ooh Spread it on. Some people like a lot of sauce. Some people like just a little, just enough to hint the pizza. Marie, I yeah. like a lot of sauce. You like a lot of sauce? Yeah, I love I a lot of like sauce. I like more cheese on mine. <laughs> okay. Get our sauce. The next thing we want to do is put our cheese on there. Now we have mozzarella cheese, and then we have what we call pizza cheese which is just pizza cheese right here, and it's just a blend of different types of cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy. Did you know September the 5th is National Cheese Pizza Month? That's mm. a great way to, to celebrate that day with a nice cheesy pizza. Now you can add other things to your pizza if you want, like vegetables and mushrooms and things like that. But today we're just making just a simple meat pizza. Now the next thing you want to do is get your meat out. I like turkey, so I'm going to put little turkey slices on mine. And I already told you that I absolutely love pepperoni. Yeah. The more the better. The more the better. All right. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese on mine. Now, once this is done, only thing we need to do now, kids, please, kids, safety first. If you're using a toaster oven or an oven, 
Make sure your parents are there to supervise, okay? So all we wanna do now is put the pizza in, we have a toaster oven, so we're gonna put it in the toaster oven. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We need to put mine in, in there. Thank you. So we're gonna turn it on. All right, in about maybe 15 minutes, it doesn't take long because like I said, the bread is already done. We just wanna make sure it's all golden brown and the cheese is melted. So you wanna be sure to watch it. Make sure you're watching your pizza. Okay. Look at these beautiful pizzas that we have created here. And remember, the pizzas that we've created here are found in these great cookbooks that we have on pizza. We also have storybooks on pizza stories and just lots of things here. And just like we have these books here, we have many other books in the library that covers anything you want to know about. And all that you need is a library card. So call us up. Come by, sign up for a library card, put these items on reserve, and you can come and pick them up curbside. So, thank you for joining us for Kid Friendly Pizza Time. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.